Hello, and uh, this is the second part of my RTS tutorial. And uh, close that. Last time we made a worker sprite, and we got it to move to where you click and rotate to that position. And now we also got a cursor to be whatever you want custom. And this time we're going to program it for multiple units and the way we're gonna do that is what we're gonna do is we're going to put in the step of our worker when we have if moving we're gonna tab everything forward once then we're gonna say if selected if selected equals one open bracket close curly bracket both of them are curly bracket then what we're going to do is we're going to say add event mouse left pressed um, left pressed selected equals one. Oh, actually I take that back I'm gonna write something a little bit different we're gonna write if selected keep spelling selected wrong if selected selected equals if selected equals zero curly bracket selected equals one then a curly bracket then we're going to write if c selected oh wait then we're going to write else curly bracket and curly bracket in the middle we're going to write selected equals zero so what that means is if it's select if it's not selected then it is. It is already selected. When we click on it, it's no longer selected. And of course, the step will only do that. And the global left position stays the same. So now let's go in our room. And let's put a couple more workers in here. Okay. Alright, so I click on one of these, and I go over here, and I click on one of these, and now they're both moving, and I can deselect this guy, and I can move, and it moves, and the other guys don't. Now, the f unfortunate part is, they still rotate to the click, even when they're not selected, which is kind of annoying. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to make, we're going to make a little changes to this. One thing you also noticed is that they move when you're selecting another object. You don't really want that. So what we're going to say is, we're going to add a new execute piece of code to left pressed. And we're going to say to object worker moving equals zero. That way you're not moving. And we're also going to put in global step event. We're going to put all of this if selected equals one so it's not even gonna do all this stuff until you have a selected worker okay so now let's see where we are now Okay, let's maximize and we select this guy and suddenly he's moving. And we select this guy. Now they're both moving. And uh we deselect this guy. 
And we uh, select this guy and move over there. We deselect him and suddenly he's not moving, he's not rotating. The problem still occurs though that uh, they move when you click on a person. So, uh, thinking how we can stop that, this hasn't been a real problem before because I did it in a different way. And I want to do it in a new way to make it a little more advanced and a little bit better looking. Um, how about we say, if there is not an object worker, how about this? If the place is empty, zero, zero, relative for all objects. Oh, wait. And make sure you check not. And uh, make sure you do mouse underscore x under the x. Mouse underscore y under the y. All objects do not check relative. Do check not. And apply to self. And then we put block of code around the executed piece of code. So if a position is not collision free, as in there is something there. Oh wait, no. Uncheck not, I'm sorry. If it is collision free, then you do that. Otherwise, you don't worry about it. So if there's an object where you're clicking, it doesn't go there. Now eventually we're going to change it to solid, but not now. Alright, now as you can see, this is trying to reach the area, but it's just not quite there. So what I'm going to put in with worker is, add event collision with worker stop moving and we'll see if this works I don't know if it will I need to finish that so I was trying to do something while I was doing it and this basically wraps it up uh, now we actually have it and it should be working if not I'll create a up little update later Yeah, it's not real quite working, and uh, but I will get it done. Do not worry. And uh, next part, I will show you how to get rid of this bug, and I will also be showing you how to make resources, how to make the worker gather resources, how to make uh, probably add a little marker too to just say where they're going. And uh, we'll customize it a little bit. We'll make a big next episode. I'll fix this glitch. We'll start making the OI, I mean the UI, and uh, we'll talk a little bit about resources. And we'll probably make our first resource. So thanks for watching. Please rate and please comment.